Wow, it's another beautiful morning and I want us to go through things that can help you achieve your goals in life. I like talking to the youths because once you hate yourself and you don't love yourself, then you cannot make it in this life. There are things that you're going to change in your life that are going to make you an achiever. And this is our topic today, things that can help you achieve your goals in life. Number one, empty out negativity in your mind. Your mind is like a container. If you allow negativity to take to negative things to occupy the larger space, you can't go above. What are these negative things? Something like anger, guilty, stress, worry, jealousy, etc. When they take up your mind like 70 or 90 percent, then you are left with very little space for things that matter. You need space for joy. You need space for creativity. You need space for passion. Give no praise to the enemy. That is what the scripture says. Give no praise to, uh, to the enemy. Control what you are now in. God fills my mind with good things that I may stay strong. If you believe in that, then you are able to control what gets into your mind. Number two, talk positive words upon yourself. Don't tell God how big your problems are. Always tell your problems how big your God is. Because for sure he's a big God. He's the only one who can help you conquer everything. Always declare even with your Bible that I am, I am what he says I am. I have what it says I have. I do what it says I do. For I am strong with God on my side. I'm blessed. I'm strong. Victory is mine. Always declare positive words upon your life. Avoid saying all those negative words like business is down. I'm not doing so good. I am not in good health. This disease that I, I it's like you own it. You cannot make it if you don't declare what is positive. Avoid prophesying negativity. The, the tongue has power and whatever you say using your mouth, it can either bless and it can curse. Don't curse your future with your own, uh, or with your own words. Always make sure that you are talking positivity. There is a friend of mine who used to say once that time when we were in school and you would meet her and she tells you, you ask her, what's up? And he's like, nothing much. I'm growing old, fat, and bored. And later in life when I met this person and for sure in thicker town, sure he was fat, old, looking old-fashioned, and he looked bald. So it's always good to know whatever you say can come back to you. Always look at the mirror, declare to yourself. Like me, I would say, Anne, yes, it's a good morning. You are beautiful. You're looking gorgeous. You're vibrant. You are talented. You are still looking young. Yes, declare such things upon your life. And you are going to have good, positive words upon yourself. Stop worrying and start living. So many people are worried about the mistakes they did in the past. They are worried about tomorrow. When all that gets into your mind, then there is nothing good that you can store in that same mind. We are always told even as you worry, if just 10% of worry, then you can do 90% of trusting God for the process. So fear is a destroyer. It only brings failure. Avoid fear completely. Avoid thinking much about your yesterday's failures. Think of what tomorrow holds for you. Think about what you can achieve today. You are going through a phase in life, but all you need is positive patience and to wait upon God's promises. Whatever you go through in this life, all you need is to wait upon God and 
is going to do it for you. Patience is the capacity to accept and tolerate delay or trouble without getting angry or upset. God promises us a lot, things he wants us to do, places he wants us to go, but we need to be patient with him because he has the right time for all these in our lives. Our problem is we want everything done now. And when I say now, it is now. And that is why we stay worried because things are not happening. How many of us here like to wait? None. We want the things done fast. People would rather be connected to their computers rather than to the community. Because our computer is working things fast for them. We have relied on conveniences in this life. Conveniences like our phones. Conveniences like the internet, Netflix, Instagram, Facebook, all those. That is why we are, would rather be in the computer than deal with the community itself. People would rather a promise than a process. How many of us want to hear this and this is going to happen without going through a process in life? That is who we are today. People want a moment of deliverance without discipleship. People want success without stewardship. They want wealth without wisdom. This is our generation today. We always want everything done now and now. There are promises that can only be achieved through promises. In Romans 12.12, 12, the Bible says, Rejoice in our confident hope, be patient in trouble, and keep on praying. Number four, we go to our point number four. Point number four is self-love and forgiveness. You've got to love yourself for you to move on. You've got to give yourself for the mistakes you have done for your failures so that you are able to focus on the future. You are who you have been looking for. That person you really yearn for so much in your life, it is you and not anybody else. Treat yourself like someone you love. You cannot be treating yourself like somebody you hate and you still expect to achieve your goals in life. Treat yourself like that person you love. When you love somebody, you take care of them. When you love somebody, you are able to give. When you love somebody, you are able to make promises. When you love somebody, you are able to provide. So can you start loving yourself? Provide for yourself. Take care of yourself. Promise yourself great things and they are going to happen. Don't be too hard on yourself. Treat yourself with kindness. Talk nicely to your inner self. Our hearts and our minds always want to hear us talk words that can bless us inside, from the inside. So talk to your inner self and this way you are going to achieve. I know some of us have been hurt. Some of us have gone through something in our lives that hurt us so badly. Our self-esteem may have gone down. Our ego may be affected. But talk to yourself and start declaring all those goods, all those good things. This is self-love. Forgive yourself for what you didn't do good. Nobody else is to come and forgive you but your, yourself. You have to dust yourself and know it is what you think and not what they think or what they say about you. It is what you think you are about yourself. Most of us are empty with a no sense of self-love. I would urge us today, let us start loving ourselves and forgiving ourselves first so that we are able to start focusing on what we want to achieve, our dreams, our goals in this life. Love yourself and forgive yourself. Number five, get up and work on it. 
Some of us want to still be in bed. It is morning, you are in bed, but you are talking of how you don't have money, how things are not working, how everything has crumbled. It is time for you to get up and work on it. By getting up and working on it, it's you, you get up and work for your future. Get up and work for your future self. Get up and work on your marriage. If you are facing different problems in your marriages, why don't you get up and start working on it? Get up and start working on your health. This is what you need. Get up and start working for your future children, your future partner. You can only get up and start doing something today. Nothing will come as you slumber. Nothing will come as you sleep. You need to get up on your feet. You need to get up in your mind. You need to get up in your heart and start working on it. Once you do all this and start working on your dream and your vision, then everything else will flow. When you look at yourself, I said when you look at yourself, declare good things. When you look at yourself, you need to work on your beauty. You need to work on your education. You need to work on your career and on your business. You cannot do this as you rubber. So once you've gone through the first phase, you need to get up and start doing something. It's the only way, again, you are going to achieve your goals and you are going to make it in this life. And the last one is trust God for the process. Without God, things are not possible. The Bible tells us that we can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens us. And I like this verse in the Bible because for sure, without God, we are not going any distance. So God has a plan for you. He knew you even before you were formed in your mother's womb. He had a plan for you and a good plan. Plans to give you a future. So which future are we talking about? That future of success, that future of achievements. God has a plan for you. Let him prepare you. Some of the things we go through in life, it's for God to prepare us for who he wants us to be and what he wants us to do. So allow God to prepare you. Sometimes we have to pass through fire for us to be refined like gold. This is how God prepares us. When you go through those challenges in life, when you go through problems, when you go through sicknesses, God is trying to prepare you for who he wants you to be. Pray on it. The Bible tells us that we should pray without ceasing. Again, this is a call for us to pray patiently, waiting upon God. Pray without ceasing. So for everything that you plan in your life, make sure that you involve God in it and pray for it. Ask and it shall be given. This is what our God tells us, that whatever we ask for, it shall be given. But even as we say all this, God has given us a mind. He has given us wisdom. Work on all, the, on all what we talked there before so that you are able to move towards your goals in this life. I wish you all the best. Our young generation, please work on yourself and you are going to achieve it in life. Thank you.